What's up, everybody? Coach Chris here. Happy 2021. I am back with this week's question and is very relevant with the new year and new intentions and goals. So the question is, how can I stick with my New Year's resolution and not give up in a couple of weeks like usual in regards to my fitness? I think we can all relate. There's always a sense of enthusiasm and excitement that we hit the reset button for the new year. We have some great intentions, but oftentimes we set the bar so high and we try to do so much so fast that within a couple of weeks we're burned out and we get frustrated. We feel guilt and shame and then we give up. And I don't want that to happen for you this year. So one is you got to make the game winnable. And what I mean by that is that if, say, for example, weight loss is a very common goal for people. Well, if you have to lose 30, 40 pounds, that's a big goal. But by chunking it down and making the game winnable, the idea is to make it simple, take away a lot of the stress, and start with some simple things. So, for example, if you're not working out at all right now and your goal is to start to incorporate more more movement because your weight loss is a goal, well, start off with, with a 5 to 10-minute workout at the beginning. Something very simple because if you think you're just going to go from doing – you know, not a lot to doing four or five workouts a week. That's a huge stretch, right? It's a huge increase and it leads to a lot of uh, overwhelm and, you know, quite frankly, it could be soreness, tiredness, and you just overwhelm your system to the point where you just give up in a short period of time. So one is you got to make the game winnable by making the goal much smaller and, and focusing on simplicity versus complexity. If you want to eat healthier, instead of going to the grocery store and thinking you're going to buy all organic and everything's got to be perfect, it's like just start off by putting vegetables on your plate first when you build meals. Keep it simple. And by doing that, you start building some confidence, you start building some self-trust that you can follow through, and you start celebrating these victories, and all of a sudden you're feeling a lot better about things, you're not overwhelmed, and then progress can continue. So that's number one is make the game winnable. Number two, change your environment. If for the new year you want to start to move more, well, one thing is that we need cues in our environment that prompt us to take action. So that could be that you put your workout clothes right next to your bed, so when you wake up in the morning, workout clothes there, or even wearing your workout clothes to bed so you're more apt to get up in the morning and want to move. So that's one example. Uh, two is if you want to start increasing uh, your intake and just positive uh, beneficial supplements, then putting the supplements next to your toothbrush will prompt you that when you brush your teeth, then you take your supplements. So those are a couple of examples that by changing your environment, you increase the likelihood that you can actually incorporate that new behavior. It can be if you want to hydrate that you start putting in water bottles around places in the house that you tend to frequent or in your office so that it's in your line of vision, which will prompt you to be more likely to do it. Lastly, focusing on getting your reps in. I can't say this enough. I think the biggest thing that for a lot of people is that they get frustrated too quickly. And because one, they made the goal too hard, but two is they have to recognize you have to get your reps in. The whole idea that it only takes 21 days to build a habit is actually an outdated concept. And new research suggests it's actually closer to 66 days. And so in one way we look at this is to say, well, it's going to take me at least a couple months to build these new habits. I just need to get my reps in. And so by keeping things simple, and building consistency, what happens is you get those reps in, you start building more and more momentum, you start feeling good, you get into a ritual, right? And focusing on the systems, which is like get the, the mini workouts in, adding the vegetables to the plate, the basic stuff. Over time, you can add more complexity and do more, but you got to work those fundamentals first and just get your reps in. If you do that, process is way more enjoyable. There's a lot less stress. And I'll say this as a last thought. The idea that once you get to that goal, that goal, you're going to be happy is really kind of an illusion because the idea is there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. But if you have something that you want to bring into your life, coming from the energy of you know self-love, accepting yourself as it is, and really just focusing on bringing this new thing into your life, but not making your happiness predicated upon that, it really changes the energy around things. There's less stress around it and it's more self-acceptance, self-love. And recognizing that from that that frequency, from that energy, which is much more positive in nature and less self-loathing and beating yourself up and just focusing on progress and not perfection, things start to move. So I hope this helps. I, I'm wishing everyone a really happy, healthy 2021. Keep the questions coming. And in the meantime, have an amazing day.